And we are going to begin tonight with the strong words and potential for conflict between the U.S. and Russia. At issue, an alleged chemical weapons attack by the Assad regime, Russia's ally. As President Trump considers a response, he tweeted today, Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they'll be coming nice and new and smart. And he added, you shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. David Martin is at the Pentagon. President's extraordinary tweet raised the real possibility the U.S. and Russia could soon be shooting at each other. That was followed by an unequivocal statement from the White House about who is to blame for the apparent asphyxiation of civilians. The president holds Syria and Russia responsible for this chemical weapons attack. But internal intelligence agency emails still refer to it as a, quote, alleged attack. And Defense Secretary Mattis said no final conclusions have been reached. We're still assessing the, uh, the intelligence uh, ourselves and our allies. We're still working on this. The head of the Russian military, General Valery Gerasimov, has warned that if the lives of Russian officers in Syria are threatened, Russia will retaliate not just against the missiles, but against the ships or aircraft which fired them. Russia has a sophisticated air defense system stationed in Syria. Other than probably downtown Moscow, the Syrian air defenses are probably among the very best in the world. Now a CBS a News consultant, around. retired Admiral Sandy Winnefeld, is confident most of the missiles would get through. We have a pretty good track record uh, of getting our, our Tomahawk missiles, our, our air launch cruise missiles, through those missile defenses. Occasionally you lose one, but they're awfully hard to target. Last year, the U.S. fired 60 cruise missiles from two destroyers in the Mediterranean. One failed, but the other 59 hit their targets. This time, the options also include launching from submarines, both in the Mediterranean and the Red Sea, as well as from aircraft operating out of Europe or the Persian Gulf. It is an impressive machine. As General Richard Clark showed 60 Minutes, a single B-52 bomber can carry 20 cruise missiles six under each wing and eight in a rotating launcher in the bomb bay. So it's like the chamber of a revolver. Same idea, just much bigger bullets. Despite the president's tweet that missiles are coming, the White House says he has not yet decided on a military option. A meeting of the National Security Council is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon, and Defense Secretary Mattis has changed his travel plans in order to attend. Jeff? David Martin all over the story. David, thanks very much.